Hi there and welcome to day 4 of Game Dev Tycoon, or episode 4. Uh, in the previous episode we created a lovely new, beautiful new custom game engine and we released Crouching Ninjas, Hidden Ninjas. The most inventive game name ever, I think you'll agree. Average review score for that was 7, so it wasn't that great. Um, just before that we re released Magic, or Magic however you want to pronounce it, um, which was 8.25, which is a lot better actually, I think that was my best game. And so, what game should we produce today with our lovely new engine? It's been a while since I've done a strategy, I might do a fantasy strategy. Have I done a fantasy strategy yet? Oh, there's one, Dungeon Architect. We could do, i uh, tell you what, let's do Dungeon Architect 2. Yeah, I, I haven't actually researched any, um, any sort of uh, what they're called, sequels yet. So, this will just be a, a, a pretend sequel for everyone. Dungeon Architect 2, and this is going to be a fantasy uh, strategy game for the PC, obviously. And we're going to use the new random engine, V0.1, or V01, shall I say. And we're going to have 2D graphics, because why not? and start the development. Um, right, so fantasy strategy. What do we want for strategy games then? Um, it's going to be gameplay and engine I believe for these guys. Um, so let's do that. A little bit of story and quests actually. Because, mm, nah. Mm, yeah, let's get a little bit of story and quests. Go for it and got all the things selected on the right there. So we've got save games and everything. Uh, that generated 250 grand for me, so that was pretty much half my cash that I've got at the moment. That's right, just scratch your head. Just sit there doing nothing. I don't mind. It's not like you're wasting my time or money here. And another head scratch, here we go. Fantastic, okay. Uh, the Ninvento has been released. I may actually no, no. So it's going to be PC games all the way. PC games for the win. Um, strategy games. So let's have level design and a um, little bit of dialogue, a little bit of AI. Yeah, why not? Something like that. Yeah, because we're, we're going to have tiniest amount of dialogue just so that we have, you know, tutorials, you know, spoken tutorials. Although it is. Uh, this is many years ago, so they probably won't be spoken. Um, right, development stage three already. Okay, so um, I'd say quite a lot of world design here. Uh, at the moment, I'm not bothered about graphics at all. But I'll, I'll give them some sound. I'll give them some sound. Maybe a little bit of graphics. Oh, I need some graphics at least to do the 2 engine. So let's bring that up to about there. And push this up as far as it'll go. There we go. So we've got 100% in the graphics there. So we've got 2D graphics V2, and we've got basic sounds. So let's fire that off to the developer, or to me, and see what we can muster up. Not going to finish it just yet because there's lots of bugs. Lost eight grand monthly costs. We've got 19 design, 17 technology, and 19 research as well. I really want to look at researching some new, um, some new what do we call it? New combo. I thought I thought I'd done that combo already, but I've got a new record for design, which is cool. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Ooh, leveled up in world design and 2D graphics V2. That's nice. Achievement unlocked. Versatile. Release a successful game in each of the five main. I thought I'd already done that. Huh. Let me just check that. Game history. Fantasy strategy. I am sure I have strategy games. Medieval strategy. Fantasy strategy. I've got it twice. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's check out the game reviews. Wait, wait, wait. Ten? Uh, ten? I'm in awe. I'm in shock. Ten? Whoa! Nine! That is... That is unbelievable! Oh my god! 
I'm starting to talk like someone from Unit Lost, like Stalosa, but that is, I'm so chuffed with that. I, uh, uh, yeah, I'm speechless. Dungeon Architect 2 is just, that's cult status, set a new standard for the early gaming industry. I am dead chuffed with that. And I've got loads of new research, and Dungeon Architect 2 is, it's rank one! It's rank one! <laughs> I'm so, oh my god, I've, this is my first game where I've got rank one, that's amazing. <laughs> I've made quite a name for myself. Um, sure, do I move? Oh, this is always tricky. Um, uh, I, I want to, but there's always the chance that it's going to go downhill again. And, you know, you never want to move too quickly. I'm going to save my move until uh, year five. I'm going to spend five years in the garage and then I'm going to move and in the meantime what am I going to do? I'm, I'm so chuffed. I, could be, I really want to research lots of new topics. Um, I'm not bothered about casual games because PC, casual games don't work very well on the PC. Uh, open world, definitely want that. Marketing, definitely want some of that. So let's go for open world to start with or should I go for a new topic? Mono sound. Oh, so much choice. New topic. I can have vampire movies, post apocalyptic, or superheroes. Uh, hmm. Not really sure any of these tickle my fancy, but I have to research them to get to open up new, you know, to open up new topics. Um, being a strategy games company, none of these work very well. I've got movies, which you, know, you could have. Um, the movies as the game, but the other guys, they don't really suit strategy games all that well. Mm. Let's skip topics from actually. I do want post apocalyptic. Post apocalyptic strategy game is awesome. Same for RPG. <laughs> yeah, let's start research on post apocalyptic games. I don't think you get any research points for doing research, which is a shame, really, because. When you're researching certain things, you should be getting. This has been rank one for like three, four weeks now. Well chuffed with that. Ooh, whoops. Right, so as soon as we've researched that, let's get to making a new game. And this is going to be a post apocalyptic game. So there's post apocalyptic. And should we make an RPG? RPG or adventure game, maybe. Uh, let's go for an RPG. Yeah, uh, it's one or an action. Nah, RPG. RPG game. Post-apocalyptic RPG, like Fallout, but instead of Fallout, we'll call this uh, Fall Through. That's just such a stupid name. <laughs> let's call this uh, Nuclear. Uh, Winter, spring, summer, autumn, nuclear autumn. Nuclear autumn. Yeah, why not? And let's go for the PC, as per usual, and we'll use random engine version 01. And hit next. So, wait a minute, was I doing an RPG or an adventure game? RPG game, okay. RPG game, 2D graphics, let's start the development there. So, for an RPG game, we run serious amounts of stories and quests. We want some amount of gameplay, and we fuck all engine. Don't care about the engine. Well, let's give a bit of engine, something like that. Why the hell not? Okay. And then stage two, we're gonna go for huge amounts of dialogues. Huge amounts of dialogues. Some level design. Bugger all artificial intelligence. Creator of the Master V console has announced the Vayner Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the Game Link from Ninvento. I love the names of things in this. I'm not bothered about that. Just get me onto stage three of my new RPG. World design, definite must. Graphics. Let's make a nice graphical game. Uh, a little splash of sound, maybe. But mainly graphics and world design. Yeah, why not? 
I should oh, I should really be oh, I should have researched Mono Sando. Oh, I've got twenty odd research points now, that's cool. And that just produced me two million cash. Two million in cash. Pounds, dollars, yen, whatever you want to whatever currency you is your is your cup of tea. Could be two million cups of tea. That would be quite a lot of tea though. I don't think we need that much tea. 25 design. This is going to be a new record in design, I think. And I think that's about it. So we'll finish there. No new bugs. Nuclear autumn. New topic, new combo. And we've leveled up in what? Gameplay, level design, and Steve has leveled up as well. Fantastic. Better user experience and level editor research is now available as well. Cool. Okay, first reviews of our newly... Why can I not speak? The first reviews of our newly released game, Nuclear Autumn, came in. And we have a 9, a t 10. Are we going to do it again? Two, two in a row? Oh, this is just slightly below the last one. Last one was average 9.75, this is an average of 9.5. That is amazing, two hits in a row. I. Uh, what am I doing today that's different from any other day? This is just brilliant. I'm loving this. Oh, I'm so chuffed right now. <laughs> chuffed, not a word that a lot of people use anymore. I'm so down with the kids, obviously. Uh, right, let's get some research on the go. Um, I could do with improving sound, perhaps. Uh, I do want an open world as well. Ooh, better user experience would be good. Level editor would be good. Hmm. I mean, right, so who uses gameplay? Strategy games is, is big on the gameplay, isn't it? And level design, that's more for RPGs, really, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know, really. Let's see what new topics are available to us. Mystery! What would mystery go with? If you can't really make strategy mystery games, that'd just be rubbish. Um, yeah, once again, my topics are, the topics available for me to research are pants, to say the least. So let's let's research some mono sound because it's about time that we expanded in our sound. Oh, we've got number one again. This is amazing, and we're up to nearly four million in cash. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Best game ever. I'm well chuffed with today's. No, I'm not going to move. Not yet. Not yet. It's, that's going to wait until until next episode. I've researched mono sound successfully, and you know what I'm going to do? A little bit of contract work. Uh, what's the easiest? That's 18 in three weeks. That's 21 in five weeks. That's 13 in five weeks. So let's just do that quickly. Should be able to sort that, and then we should get another research point at least for that. There we go. And then with our 10 research points, we will do some research. And we could do a level editor, or we could do a new topic. There's no new topics I like at the moment, so let's just research the level editor very quickly. And then, once I've finished researching this level editor, looking at the time up in the top right hand corner there, year 4, month 12, week 2 already. So time does fly. Nuclear Autumn is now off the market. Oh, that's a shame. But it generated another 2 million cups of tea in sales, which is absolutely incredible. Research is complete. I've successfully researched Level Editor. Awesome. So now, I think that'll bring this episode to a close. And as the year ticks over, let's click here so it saves. In fact, let's press Escape and hit Save button and press escape again and as ever I'll say thank you very much for watching until next time bye bye now